Hey, Security Forward, is there a free and easy VPN for Linux users? I'm new to the OS. And then a response was, free VPN means you are the product. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's been a lot of consolidation in the VPN marketplace, mm -hmm. um, per particularly from companies that have a known history of doing surveillance activities or being involved in surveillance companies. And that's obviously not good. If you are somebody who has been involved in like surveillance and you're starting to consolidate like VPNs, that's why I don't really use PIA anymore is because they were bought up and kind of mm -hmm. consolidated by a larger company that has been connected to a lot of surveillance stuff around the world that is not somebody who I would want to be my VPN provider. So like I personally like to use Use Mulvad. I think they're cool. You can mail them an envelope full of like mm -hmm. quarters or whatever, and they'll like set you up with some VPN stuff. I would say that in general, there are some good services out there, but they're generally paid. You can always use Tor, but of course, mm -hmm. then you get into the problem where like at, at that point, you don't have access to large portions of the internet because your traffic mm -hmm. is suspicious and nobody wants to deal with you. So there are definitely trade offs there. Yeah. The other solution but um, I would not suggest this if, if you are, in fact, a beginner, is rolling your own VPN. Technically is free. I mean, assuming you already have a router or you already have some of that set up, uh, you would need, say, for instance, an AWS instance or some other cloud instance, and then you would set up a VPN between that cloud instance and your home network or wherever you're trying to connect to. You'll often see small, medium businesses and large businesses using VPNs like this to connect back to servers and stuff to do it securely. You could use that same thing to create your own. I guess that's technically free, but you would need the cloud service provider. And if you're beginning, it's probably a little more advanced than you want to start off with. I would strongly advise against beginners rolling their own VPN. Yeah, yeah and then also, you know, as Cody was alluding to, you can't always trust paid VPNs even. I mean, it's better than nothing, but also you have to question sometimes, are nation states or other individuals going to be targeting those VPN companies or are those VPN companies gonna sell that data? Various things like that. Yeah, and in general, like a VPN is supposed to help you on like a sketchy local network mm -hmm. from getting redirected to a phishing page or somebody have it, having somebody eavesdrop on your traffic. It presumably isn't gonna do a lot to protect like the mm -hmm. what comes out of the endpoint. So like if you're worried about the VPN company knowing like what you're doing, like they're gonna know what you're doing because that's kind of like the service they provide. And they can say that they don't do logging, but a lot of them have been found in court to actually be doing logging because they're able to respond to law enforcement and actually give them information, which kind of contradicts mm -hmm. the claims that they make. So be really careful when you're picking a VPN.